And with the holidays comes the holiday decorating. There is so much to know when it comes to trees, but especially poinsettias and wreaths. So we sent Del Marble Life's Brian Spiros to Jeff's greenhouses in Bethel to check it all out. The greens, reds, and golds. Christmas is in full bloom at Jeff's greenhouses in Bethel in Sussex County. A much different picture from the last time we were here. The rows of spring flowers are now a sea of red. Now we've got about 40,000 poinsettias. We have them in different colors from red, pink, burgundy, and jingle bells. Jeff Hastings is the owner of Jeff's Greenhouses. He's had poinsettias on his mind since the summer. We start back in August when they come in. They're about two inches big and then we transplant them into the size pot that we want to grow them in and they're fertilized once a week. We drench them with a fungicide once a month. They're pinched in uh, the first week of September and that's where you can get how many blooms you want per plant. Poinsettias are considered the most popular potted plant in the U.S. but they also require a lot of attention. Case in point, Jeff says they need at least 12 hours of darkness while they're growing through September and October. That means adjustments have to be made. We put black plastic on the ends of the houses towards the road to keep the light out. And we actually get the street lights turned out in front of the business. Speaking of care, poinsettias can sometimes be very fussy once inside your home. Jeff has some simple tips to keep them looking vibrant. Well, they should be plenty of light as much light as possible and the temperature should be between 60 and 70. I wouldn't let it drop below 60. And as far as watering, you know, you'd probably water it every other day. And I've even told people to put ice cubes in the pot and then just let them melt. Don't put them in a draft, a cold draft, because that they'll just wilt down and die. And you also don't want to have them near a heater vent because that can curl up the leaves and, and uh, dehydrate them. So here's the deal. There's all this talk that poinsettias are poisonous for humans or animals. So let's set the record straight. Are they poisonous or not? No, that's a myth. They are not poisonous. The poinsettia is not the only kind of popular plant this year. You also have what's called the Christmas cactus and cyclamen. Moving on to the green colors of the season. When all is said and done, Jeff says he will sell about 600 Christmas trees, but something else he's known for are these fresh wreaths. Jeff gets in lots of fresh trees every year, and we cut some of them up, and we get a selection of all the trees. Yvonne Simone is the wreath maker at Jeff's Greenhouses. She says people use many of these mounts to hang on their door, inside their home, to use them even as a centerpiece or place them at the cemetery. They buy the fresh mounds to take out to the grave site. It gives them time to think about their loved ones that aren't with them at Christmas or during the holidays. And they take a moment and they do that and they do that every year. It becomes a tradition. A lot of people come back to Jeff's every year just for the grave mounds. And I'm here now with Yvonne and she's going to let me help her make a wreath. So how do we get started here? Okay, well you're lucky. I've started one for you. You can see I've taken the form and started weaving the large branches in and now I'm going to let you do the rest and you can begin to see where there's areas that need this in the bottom layer so over here start doing and this. you just kind of gently shove those in there, yes. Okay, so now we've got to add the bow to the top and then we're going to build in with some other things. So I'm going to let you add that. It has to go right in the middle. Okay, I'll put that just right in there. Fasten it to those cross wires. <laughs> all right, great. That looks okay, that perfect. Looks good. Ribbon's all set, what's next? All right, now that we have the ribbon on, we're gonna add some of our spectacular holly. Here we have some variegated holly, and I've put these on picks for you already. Some regular red holly. And in they and go. In they go, take the picks and push them through. Make sure they're nice and tight. And we're gonna put a little variegated on each side and a little of the red. So we have all of that done. We're now gonna add the decorative balls. I've chosen green and blue Delmarva Life colors. Let's put them in there. Okay. All right, there we go, my Delmarva Life Wreath. Yvonne, how does it look? Spectacular. Well, that's because I had a good teacher. And there's a lot more than just these wreaths. There's a whole store filled with them, all different colors, sizes, and themes. With Christmas still a couple weeks away, Jeff is already having to set his sights on the next holiday. Actually, we'll be 
planting Easter lilies in about 10 days. It's an operation that keeps moving all year long. And here it is, and it smells wonderful. Now, not only are the Easter lilies right around the corner, Jeff says in January and February, they start planting the flowers for spring.